Hello and welcome to Code Tutorials. In this video, we're going to show you how to register your theme and what to do before importing demo content. So let's get started. So first of all, let's navigate to the dashboard and go to the plugins section. Now if we scroll down over here, we can see that the Stockholm Core plugin is installed and activated. This plugin is absolutely necessary for your theme to work. So if you don't have Stockholm Core installed already, you should take care of that now. That's done by navigating to Appearance, then Install Plugins. Then simply find the Stockholm Core plugin in this list and install and activate it. When you've done that, hit Refresh. This will let you see the Stockholm Dashboard option in your WordPress admin menu. When you click on that, you'll see this registration window. This is where you should enter your purchase code and email address. If you're not sure how to locate your purchase code, please take a look at the Envato article that's linked in the video description section. So I'm going to go ahead and register my theme. First by adding my purchase code, then my email. I'm using the same one I have on Theme Forest. And then click on the register theme button. When the registration is done, you'll have this deregister theme button. Now, per Theme Forest rules, one license is required for one domain. So, if sometime in the future you wish to use your copy of Stockholm on a different site, then before you do that, you will need to deregister your theme on your old site, and then you can register it on your new site. Make sure to have a copy of your purchase code saved somewhere and click on the deregister theme button. This is just something to keep in mind if you're planning on clearing your WordPress installation on your old site or switching domains. Before doing something like that, you should deregister your site so that you can later register it on a different domain. If you need help registering or deregistering your theme, you can always reach out to our help center. You'll find a link to it in the description section below. You can open a ticket or send in an email with your purchase code and one of our colleagues in the support team will assist you promptly. Now, if you scroll down a bit, you can see an overview of your system information. For demo import, we recommend having certain settings on your server. And in this section, you can see whether your settings meet the minimum requirements. If one of your PHP directives does not meet the recommendations, you will see an error here. I'll leave you a link to an article that lists our recommended PHP versions and resources so you know what your goal is. Then if you have an error, you can fix it from your hosting control panel using an option like multi-php ini editor in cPanel or its equivalent on your hosting control panel. Of course, if you aren't certain about attempting this on your own, you can always ask your hosting provider for help. They can then increase the values for you. You'll need to let them know which directive to modify by saying something like Hi, I need my max upload size increased and letting them know what the new value should be according to the recommended values. Alright, I don't have any error messages here, nothing's in the red, so my settings are looking good, which means I can proceed to the demo import. But that's the subject of another video. For now, we established how to register and potentially deregister your theme and touched on checking your server settings to make sure they meet the minimum requirements before importing the demo content. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please drop us a line in the comment section below. And if you would like to be notified about future videos, you can subscribe to our channel. Until next time.